Hey guys and gals, welcome back to The Long Dark. We're playing the Vigilant Flame Edition. And we're picking up right where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We're in the Forestry Lookout Tower here in Mystery Lake region. And Paulina is uh, all ready to head out, aren't you, Paulina? Let's check that pack. I mean, she's super heavy, 82 pounds out of 66 maximum capacity. But I don't want to drop anything. I don't want to drop anything. I think uh, I think we can do it, Paulina. So let's head outside and let's boogie. Actually, one thing before we go. Let's check the stove for charcoal. Did you grab it? Oh, you did. One step ahead of me. Every time. That's what I like about you, Paulina. All right, out we go. It looks super bad out here. It's like almost a whiteout. Look at this snow coming down. It's not too cold, though. Temperatures are normal, nice and stable. Paulina is full of energy today. Look at her. Her eye is wide open. She had a good uh, one-hour cat nap here at the tower. <laughs> and the last two days, she's got 12 hours of sleep. So, yeah, she is raring to go. Um, she's a little hungry and um, feisty, but we can make it. We can make What? Stop smacking your lips. All right, fine. You want something to eat? All right. That's the, that's the signal. She smacks her lips all the time. She's such a lip smacker. There, food and a little bit of hydration. That should keep her happy. And now we're just going to get back. I uh, want to go all the way back to... We're here. We want to follow the tracks back here and then to the Trapper's Homestead, which is sort of our forward operating base here in Mystery Lake region. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I get down? Here we go. Uh, yeah, that's one way down, but that's not the way down that we want to go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want to get back to the trapper's cabin and dump out all the stuff in the pockets because she's got so much. We've got some great gear. And we want to bring it back to Granny's in the Mountain Town region, right? And that's where our base of operations is at Granny's house in, um, in Milton. And then from Milton, once we get all the gear and we have food and enough water and all that stuff, we're going to make a bid for the Hush River Valley. That is the new region in this uh, in this update, the Vigilant Flame. Making good time here, going down fast. Look at you go, girl. Just don't go too fast. Remember what happened last time you went down too fast? You twisted her wrist somehow. <laughs> and an ankle. I don't know how she twisted her wrist. Maybe falling and trying to um, stop the fall. What was that? That is possible. My daughter, who was a field hockey player and lacrosse player and, well, a lot of, played a lot of sports, she broke her wrist twice falling in sports and landing on it. Okay, let's not go that way. That's a long fall. Yeah, twice. The same wrist. So now it's, like, super powered. It's got, like, metal and pins and stuff in it. Actually, it doesn't, but we should have done that. Could have been a $6 million kid. Anyway. Oh, here we go. We got the tracks and we have the derailment. Forgot about this place. We might be able to find some goodies here. Ooh, got a little, got a quick step going here, Paulina. Like I said, easy does it, though. You should walk in an angle downhill. There could be wolves here, too, so keep your eyes open. They're going to smell us before we see them, probably, because Paulina is carrying wabbit meat and wabbit skin and wabbit guts, and that stuff smells delicious to a wolf. There's a deer there, ravaged. Oh, and a fella, a frozen fella. I wonder if he's been ravaged. All right, stop looking. Listen, she's in a rush. What's the rush, Paulina? It's like shopping day or something. I mean, look at all these goodies. They just spilled out of the out of the uh, train. <laughs> Ooh, feather. Grab all the crow feathers. We can use those for um, for uh, making arrows when we get to that point. All right, let's check this guy. Tickets, please. Oh, he already got thrown out. Oh, nice boots. I'm gonna leave them on you, okay? I don't want to take them from him. We don't really need them. Grab the flares, though. First aid kit. Oh, bandage. Paulina, you're awfully quiet today. You got nothing to say? Look at all these feathers. And a ravaged deer corpse right here. Not a good sign. That means the wolves are about. Wolves are about, so we must be cautious. Oh, we got music. Let's go check out this car. We can get inside. Watch out for the sharp sticks. Paulina. Oh, there's a wolf. Wolf on the track. Wolf on the track. Get up. Up, 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 quick. 
I don't think that wolf can see us from where it is. It's too far away. And I don't think it can smell us. There's no wind today. So we shouldn't, uh, the, our smell shouldn't carry. Oh, hi. Another passenger. Tickets, please. Oh, boy. You guys hear the wolves howling over the background music? I think they're on to us. Empty? This guy doesn't have a ticket. Toss him off. Toss him off the train like that other guy. Uh, I don't like them wolves howling, I gotta say. Couldn't mean that they're tracking, stalking something. There's definitely more than one. That's the same pack we saw in the last episode. I think we ought to give them sort of a wide berth. If we walk right down the tracks, we're in trouble. Oh, you know what we should do? We should, um... Yeah, let's sketch right here. Let's sketch. I think we're safe. Relatively speaking. I mean, you're never safe, no matter where you are. <laughs> Derailment. Okay, we got it. We got a record of it. And that's what we wanted. Yeah, I think walking down this track would be utter folly. I mean, if there was one wolf, I'd say let's do it and just shoot it. Scare it away. But if there's two or three, forget about it. All right, I think we should grab this deer. Let's grab the hide with the kniffy. And how about some guts? 40 minutes? Yeah, all right. Yeah, that way we can use the deer hide to make uh, the deer skin boots, I think you make with deer hide. And that could, that's going to come in handy. I would really love to have those boots. Oh, a crow feather. Um, for when we go to the Hush River Valley. Wow, these feathers are all over the place, and I'm missing them. Yep, another one! Dang, they're camouflaged and all this grass. But we're going to need those to make arrows. Another one! Holy smokes. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Let's go up the hill. <laughs> I think we can probably get around those walls and then over toward the camp office. Like, we come up here, right? And then down. Oh! Yep. That's our cue, Paulina. Let's move out. We gotta do this before the sun drops, too. Up we go. Oh, she's starting to breathe heavily now. This is not gonna be easy going up. Oh my gosh, look at that. Maybe we can just skirt this ridge here and this might give us enough space so that the wolves can't see or smell Paulina can't go any higher this is this is as high as she can go right here I hope it's enough space <laughs> if a wolf comes flying over this ridge then we'll know it's not enough space right okay there's the power line just gotta keep that in view but if we stay here in this direction, it should bring us right to the camp office. We can duck inside. We can either spend the night there if we need to, or continue on to the trapper's cabin, depending on how much daylight is left. But ultimately, we want to get back to the trapper's cabin and um, grab everything that we want to bring back to Granny's. It's going to be a huge load. There's a wolfie. He doesn't seem like he knows we're here. I think we're okay. We'll just stay right here. But keep an eye on them, Paulina, because they're tricksy. But watch your step, too. <laughs> Paulina's got a lot of things to do. I'm just guiding. I'm just providing advice. Watch out for that stick. Poke your eye out, kid. So sharp. All right, nothing behind. I'm really not looking behind, and I should. If they catch a whiff of us, they're gonna they're not going to come straight up this way. They might not come this way. They could come from behind. It all depends on the shortest distance, right? Damn. Oh, oh, yeah, you did dang it. it. Oh, dang it. All right, get down. I can't bring up the gun. Oh, darn. All right, you know what? Take some painkiller for that left hand. I told you, when you go too fast, I get that gun up quick. All right, now you can deal with the, uh, the ankle. That was two tablets? Wow. Whoop. She, look at that. She, she took it dry. You want something to drink? Let's wash that down with some uh, sardines. Just drink that sardine juice in there. That's enough. Yeah, she's getting thirsty, but I think we can make it back. 
That wolf is coming right for us. Is that his face or his butt? I can't tell which direction. Yeah, he's coming this way. Okay, let's move. Minor inconvenience. Oh, okay, we're there. We are there. We are there. It's right here. All right, slow it down, Pauline. I know you're in a rush. But you know what happens when you go down too fast now. Easy. I mean, the momentum is great because <laughs> it is fast. But it's also dangerous. All right, we're good. No wolves. Amazing. Amazing. We made it. No wolves blocking our way this way either, which is cool. Okay, here's what we'll do. Just Whoa, here they come. No, they're not. All right, let's get inside quick, quick, quick. All right, I don't think they saw Pauline. I think we're okay. Let's just get inside and save it. Whew. Okay, safe. Let's have some fine Canadian lemonade. Actually, I think this is just melted snow, so it doesn't have any flavor. It's too bad. So sad. All right, now, now we can go. There's nothing here that we need. I've already grabbed everything. The rest is just extras. I will check for charcoal. There's none. Uh, cooking pot. Should we bring the cooking pot? Because I only have one of those. Two cooking pots could be good. But they're super heavy. Wow, four this pounds. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I had a feeling you were going to say that. But we got to do it. You can do it. Moon's coming up. Sun's going down. Can we, can we do it? Should we stay here? Uh, dang it. No, Pony's not even tired. Let's go. We can make it. You just gotta believe, Paulina. Ooh, wind is kicking up, but the temperature is still stable. Temperature's still stable, so I think we're okay. Just gotta cut right through here and get back to Trapper's Cabin, and then we can dump our load, and we'll take it from there. I'm not sure if we're gonna stick around in this region or just head right back to Granny's. I think we'll probably stick around for a little bit longer. There is one other camp I'd like to check out. Of course, Paulina doesn't know about it, but we're going to do some more surveying, and she might end up spotting it by sketching and exploring, and that'll be our uh, our excuse, right? Or, or at least our justification for going where I want to go. It's like a, a hermit's cabin or something like that out in the woods. It might have some hunting gear. All right. So we are going to cut through right here. I'm thinking maybe it's so cold, but we can do it. Let's sketch right here near the tracks. See what we can see if there's anything cool in the area. No. Cedar limbs. Not even a furry limb nearby. Terrible, terrible tragedy. Okay, wind's at our backs. Giving us a little shove. It's also carrying the smell of the wabbit forward. So if there's a wolf up there... Uh... He's going to smell us before we see him. Whoa, what's that? Oh, I thought I heard something. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Keep 360 degree awareness because them things are sneaky. Very, very tricksy, them wolves. We're going to cut right through here. Should be somewhat of a shortcut, I think. Man, that wind sounds really cold, doesn't it? But it's nothing. Pauline is handling it like a champ. Nothing. You got nothing, Canada. You got nothing. Oh, except for wolves. Is that a wolf? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's just a tree with the pine needles shifting in the wind. Oh, that is a wolf, though. All right, so, yeah, Canada's got some things. All right, fine. I take it back. I take it back. Stop. Call off your wolves. Oh, man, and it's coming right for us, too, so I wonder... Oh, look, a cabin, but it's not the kind you can go into and hide from wolves, unfortunately. Might provide some shelter from the wind, although we don't even really need it. Just don't want that smell to get over there and reach that wolf. I think we might be able to get around him. All right, get down. Get down. Nice and slow. Deadfall area. Maybe we'll sketch here. Unless that wolf is really close. There's a wood stove in here. I don't see it. Let's back in. Rifle out. 
Check the wood stove. Get that charcoal. Only one piece, huh? Shh. The wind in the fir trees sounds really, really cool. They kind of buff it. The pine needles around. It's really kind of cool, right? But it's also a little spooky. It sounded like footsteps. Now, let's see. I, I really... Let's, uh, let's sketch. This is kind of sketchy out here. With a wolf nearby, but... Uh, we did it! Okay, get the gun up. Okay, now look at the map. <laughs> We're right here. Deadfall area, destroyed house. We're on the right track. We'll go right over. Hunting grounds, check our snare, and then get back home. Sound good? It's a plan. Let us continue. Slowly creep forward. The wolf is around somewhere. Could be anyway, unless he kept moving in one direction. But sometimes they tend to just walk back and forth. Did you hear that wind? Sounds like we're surrounded. <laughs> Footsteps everywhere. <laughs> uh, don't panic, Paulina. You got a gun. Just remember to pull it up and shoot it. Doesn't it sound like footsteps everywhere, like little pitter-patters? Freaky, freaky, freaky. What a beautiful night, too, huh? Gonna be a nice sunset tonight. All right, let's go. I think this is the way. This is the way the wolf was coming. I see the mushrooms, but I don't want them. <gasps> yeah, the worst part of this wind is not the cold, it's the noise. It's freaking me out. I think we gotta go up this way. Oh no, that's scary music. I don't like the ominous music. And that's a wolf. That's a wolf. That's a wolf. Can you sprint? No, of course not. She's carrying like a thousand pounds. Oh no. We might find that cabin I was talking about inadvertently anyway. There he is. Is that his face or his butt? I can't tell. It all looks the same to me. Uh, we're gonna go this direction. We can't go that direction because of the wolf. So if we do happen to find That cabin I was talking about Maybe they're just trailers. I forget but I Don't know if going up here is a good idea because we might not be able to get back down on the other side We just get hungry Tired climbing this hill Super smelly now We got two little smelly uh, Things up there. What are those things called? Waves? Smelly waves? Two smells. Oh, what is this? What? What? I see a power line. Are we back at the train track? I think I went the wrong way. We're gonna have to sketch. I hate to do this up here, but we're gonna have to because I'm I'm a little lost. How to admit it. Yes, it's the train track. We're right here. We went down here in this... Okay, well, that's fine. Then I think we got to go down this way and around. And that is super steep. Go on an angle like I told you before. Paulina. Sideways. There we go. Switch back. Switch back. Okay, yeah, there's the... Uh, that's the train wreck. By the tunnel. So, okay, we're on track. Now I know where I am. Yeah, I just left that, um, that ruined shack in the wrong direction, is all. It's really easy to get turned around here, you'd be surprised. Everything looks the same. Very easy to get lost in the woods. You gotta find landmarks. Of course, the compass would help. The map doesn't do you any good if you don't know where on the map you are, or which direction you're facing. <laughs> Just a piece of paper. Oh, a deer. Oh, what's that? More creepy music. All right, I think we're just gonna get right to the trapper's cabin. We may not be able to check our trap. I don't know if we're gonna have time. I don't like being on these ridges because you can't see very far. Don't know what's on the other side and a wolf could easily be creeping up. On the other side, right? Wow, I'll tell you, this wind 
and all the creaks and groans really freaking me out. Super loud background music is not helping. All right, there, there's the cabin. I can see it in the distance. Salvation and safety. Woohoo! Watch out! Sharp stick. All right, here's Max. Hi, Max. Good to see you again. Just passing through. I don't think we should check the snare. Should we check the snare? All right, let's check the snare, but let's eat first. How about, uh, uh, what do we got here? Energy bar. Eat that energy bar. Okay. I, I hate to eat with my eyes closed like that. Can't see what's around. The sun is setting. Oh. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Oh, Paulina, she finally spoke. Yeah, I know the sun's setting, I get it. Stating the obvious, but we should check the snare. So if there's a wabbit, we can snatch him up and skin him and make those awesome mittens someday. Yeah, I think I think there's one in there. I think it was tripped. And there's a little bunny rabbit all snatched up. I'm glad the snare does the dirty work for us. If you knock a rabbit out with a, a rock, you have to twist his little neck. <laughs> it's horrible. Nobody needs this anymore. Just take it. Pick up the snare. We have to reset it. All right, let's go. The snare is set. Plenty of bunnies around. Let's get back to uh, that trapper's cabin. Beep, beep, coming through. You better run. Man, they're everywhere. It's getting so dark now. Oh, look how smelly Pauline is now. We got three little stinky waves. I wonder if that extends the distance that the wolves can smell us from, right? Maybe it, it, it expands the uh, the radius. I'm sure it must. But there's usually no wolves around here. Oh, hey, who's at the cabin? Somebody turned the lights on. I guess we got a visitor. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't know you had friends in this parts, Paulina. Guys, I can't see anything right now. I will brighten up the video. There could literally be a wolf right in front of me, and I cannot see it. That's how dark it is for me. I could be walking straight for it. I do see the fence and the snow on it. That's about it. Twapper's homestead. We done did it. Woohoo! We're probably going to call it quits right here. I'm going to get inside and just uh, dump out the pack. Ah! Oh, owl! Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've ever heard of owls in this game before. Um, yeah, so I think we're just going to go right to bed. Well, no, I'm going to get somewhat organized and then go to bed. All right, now who's here? Let's keep the gun up just in case they're hostile. Where's the dang door? Paulina, reach around. Find that doorknob. You had it. You lost it. You had it again. <laughs> there it is. In we go. Hello? Who's here? Show yourself. Say something. All right, I'm going to reveal you. Let there be light. Ha ha. Huh? Nobody. They slipped out the back again. I'm going to catch you, whoever you are. Must have jumped out a window. Man, that dude always does that. All right, let's uh, put down the lamp. And we need two hands for this. We're going to drop some stuff, like the hides in particular, and get those starting to cure. There's the big deer one. I wonder if it helps being closer to the fire. We'll get a fire going tonight, too. Oh, why am I carrying a Frontier shooting guide? Where the heck did that come from? I don't know. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff here. Pauline needs to drop off, like, an extra knife. And I will get organized and put this stuff up on the shelves and make it look beautiful. Oh, right, the guts. Let's drop them guts. Guts, guts, guts. Oh, we got a rabbit, too, that we want to harvest, too, right? This little fella. Yeah, yeah. Um, how long is that going to take? Hide and guts. 40 minutes. Can I do that right now? How you feeling, Paulina? Yeah, I think we can do it. Alright, let's harvest this little feller. And then, um... Yeah, 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah, and I think we're gonna call it quits right here, folks. Paulina's got a few more things to do tonight. But, uh... I've got to go. Got some errands to run. And we'll just see you all in the next episode. So, hope you enjoyed. Oh, gosh, that's disgusting. Let's into it. It's all wet. <laughs> but I can't wait till we have our uh, wabbit mittens and our deer boots. Yeah, I, I get the picture. Dang you. 
yeah, let's call it quits right here, folks. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Pauline's got to get to bed, and I got to go. So uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.